I'm guessing at most 10. That's seven. Another episode of Firewood Doctor. Today I got a new tool in the wood yard. I already opened the box to make sure it is what it is supposed to be. There's a outer main shipping carton, then the inner product carton. It got a little ding and chipping, but that is not an issue. Very well packaged. It's got. Oh! It, this got damaged from like the outside inside kind of thing. It pulled through this, so something bumped into the box and. Oh, look! A chain breaking clutch cover. I wonder what it could be. Oh look, a tool kit. I wonder what's in here. You got piston stoppers, ring compressors, all kinds of gauges. Nice T-handle wrench. Another scrunch, I got like four or five of these floating in the truck. A little microscopic dog. Log dog, so you can guess where this is going. This is a small chainsaw. Very lightweight ear protectors. I don't know how good these are going to be being as light as they are. Cheap gardening gloves, but it still costs a little money. Mixing bottle. Oh, look, safety glasses. That's a nice touch. I wasn't expecting those. Bar cover, Neotech, so you know this is a clone saw. Owner's manual. Just kidding, folks. Might need that later. Chain. Then the bar is taped to the bottom. Unless I give it away in the title, you haven't found out what model this is yet. Because I haven't decided on the title for this video yet. This is all bubble wrapped up. 20 inch bar, so you know this is not a very big saw as far as bar length goes. And a greasable sprocket tip bar, non replaceable. Here's the saw Neotech NCS fifty eight hundred. Pretty lightweight little bugger. Oh, it's got a Rim type sprocket behind the clutch. That's I don't like these outboard clutches. It's a inconvenience when you go to wanting to replace the sprocket, but take a look at the muffler. Holy fright, this thing is free flowing. There's nothing holding this muffler back for making power. Absolutely none that I can see. Maybe there's some baffling in there that does because it is this thick. Uh, what I heard was, uh, well, it's a rearward canted cylinder. That's a little different. I might have to grind out the uh, 
on off switch position. Just taking the cover off so I can see what it looks like. What is that all? Got a big air filter. Everything seems tight, uh, rubber mounted. So it's rubber anti vibe. Put that back on. stuff out of the way. Why would I get this saw? Well, I want something a little lighter than my other saws. Yeah, that's the traffic I gotta deal with here at the wood yard. Let's see. Looking at this, on the saw it says 25 to 1, but on here it says 50 to 1. Maybe 25 to 1 that you're breaking in, but I'm not doing that. I'm using the gas I have. I'm not mixing a special blend. Oh, this was a Ziploc bag. I didn't have to do it that way. Rip it open. Well, these dogs can go either way. They can either go this way or this way. I'll put it in this way. Just because it looks better. Let's see in the tool kit. Here we go. Yeah, this one I can't get my finger fingers on it as good, so just use this to Spin it right round, right round. I don't know the song that well. Looks like it's got a larger bar stud, so it might have to steal bar pattern. I'd have to match it up with uh, two Svarna bar studs, but. The well, bar nuts are not bigger, so it might not be, but the studs are very big. All right, those are nice and snug. Check the handle bolts. Snugged up a little more. Snug there. Snug. That one's snugged. Check these muffler outer bolts. Yep, that all seems snug. Put that back in the tool kit. A little handy dandy screwdriver. That is not going to reach to the high and low. I do have screwdrivers in my other kits to uh, 
hit the adjusters when I need to. Tune the carb up. Put the bar on. I like it when it's a closed ended bar. Oh, well, this has got the uh, crummy uh, chain tensioner in the front. I don't like it here, but at least it's on the outboard side of the bar instead of on the inboard side. Inboard side, it sucks. But that's the way the old style saws were. turning this the wrong way. I want to make sure this is backed off all the way. Normally I would grease this. Actually I got a little bit of grease here. Hold on. Is prepared around here. Let's see if I can get some out of here. Oh, well, this is this is for lubing the uh, sprocket tip. It just shot the grease in there. You don't get your fingers dirty. Remember that tip. I got someone stacking wood for me. Alright. That is a 325 chain. goes in here somehow. Alright. Put the chain on in the correct direction once I get it untangled. Yeah, coming up on 2,000 subscribers. I was thinking of giving this saw away, but I'm starting to like it. There we go. Get her on the chain catcher. Now the hard part is I got to get back off, push the bar back so it lines up, the adjuster hole lines up with this little point. And I'm limited on ability to camera angle this. So I got the trailer right behind me. I'm trying to do with three things at once around here. everything moves on you. Rip our nuts. I 
Uh, there's a whole provision in here for a side chain tensioner. caps are off. Grease the bar tip. Boy, does that thing look tiny compared to what I'm used to running. I'm used to running 24 inch bars. on this side so it gets the holes on the other side of the sprocket all right oh, yes it has adjustable oiler let me check to see where that's adjusted first There's the adjuster. Okay, they have it hidden. You know, it's not where the markings are, it's right here. All right. Always like to do the bar oil first, but sometimes in a hurry and forget. Well, forget to put the bar oil in before the gas. Last thing you want to do is burn up the bar and chain. So always do the bar oil first. You know the gas is well shaken up. And it promptly overflowed all over everything. Since I'm just starting this up, I'm not going to see how many pulls this takes. I'm guessing at most 10. At 7. Throttle response is excellent. See how much of a pull it takes. Now this is how you're supposed to start it. Or your foot through the handle on the ground. Chain brake on. Ah. 
Ah! Uh-huh. 
Not bad at all for a little, for a cheap little saw. Yeah, it's uh, heavily four-stroking, meaning the it's running ri way rich. But I can tell once you get it tuned up, this thing's going to scream pretty good. Nisha, out of the box, do I recommend it? Yes, I do. And I love the light weight of it. Yeah, I gotta go touch up the chain. Went through a little dirt. I want it to be perfect for the next time I run it. So, the next time, folks, take care. Get out there, do something. Have fun doing it. And do it with good tools.